Today, I'm sharing the best hikes in Colorado and the top hiking trails in the state. So if you're looking for the best places to hike in Colorado, stay tuned. I've called the state of Colorado my home all my life and I was born and raised here in Colorado Springs and it's currently where I live. The state is known for towering mountain ranges, wildlife, outdoor activities, and nearly endless hiking trails. Here's my list of the top 11 hikes in Colorado and the best places to visit for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers. Number 11, Garden of the Gods. Right in my backyard is Garden of the Gods, which is one of the top hikes in Colorado Springs and for good reason. This magnificent natural wonder is a national natural landmark and is most well known as one of Colorado's most photographed views. Plus, the park is completely free to visit and explore nearly all year round. Garden of the Gods has over 12 designated trails in the park, with the trails ranging from very easy to moderate difficulty. You could fill a few hours or a whole weekend just exploring the many trails, wandering the visitor center and dining on site. The Perkins Central Garden Trail is a one and a half mile paved trail that is an easy route that is relatively flat and takes about 25 minutes to complete. Due to the paved trails and well-maintained paths, this hike is a kid-friendly, wheelchair-friendly, and stroller-friendly one. Designated parking for this trail is located at the main parking lot, with accessibility spots and restrooms near the trail. And don't forget to stop off at the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center to grab an iconic photo. The towering red rock sandstone formations rise up before the mountainous backdrop of the famous Pikes Peak and all along the Front Range. Number 10. Great Sand Dunes National Park Another epic place to hike in Colorado is the Great Sand Dune National Park. The hike to the Star Dune is a personal favorite. The Star Dune is over 700 feet tall and is currently tied with the Hidden Dune, its neighbor, as the two tallest dunes in North America. The hike up the Hidden and Star Dune loop is 8 miles long and is considered a challenging hike that takes about 3.5 hours to complete. There is a fee to enter the National Park, as well as an annual passes that are available for purchase via the National Park website. And it's quite unique to see a miniature Sahara Desert pressed up against the iconic Colorado mountains. And these sand dunes exist here because long ago, there was a lake that covered almost the entire San Luis Valley, where the dunes are, called Alamosa Lake. Then suddenly, many thousands of years ago, the lake just up and disappeared, leaving lots of sand. And over many thousands of years, the sand was swirled and billowed by wind and weather, where it was collected in a pocket in the southern part of the valley, aka the sand dunes. Number 9. Rocky Mountain National Park Rocky Mountain National Park is an expansive and rugged wilderness with more than 250 hiking and biking trails. Located near Estes Park, Colorado, there are limitless areas to see and explore here. Visiting it at certain times of the year will yield a completely different and amazing experience. And one of the most famous Colorado hiking trails in Rocky Mountain National Park is called the Emerald Lake Trail. With only a moderate level of difficulty, this trail is nice for active families or those who aren't used to the altitude yet. This 3.2 mile hike goes out and back for about an hour and a half and is easy to follow thanks to the marked trails. The trail passes a series of crystal clear alpine lakes with the smallest of the pools being called Nymph Lake. Then it's onto Dream Lake, which is one of the most beautiful lakes in all of Colorado. Hiking the Emerald Trail means seeing epic views of the Rocky Mountains, wildflowers, or even some wildlife. In the summer, it's perfect for hiking and mountain biking, and during the winter, this trail is a great spot for snowshoeing. And to get to the park, you will have to buy a day pass, and the fees do vary, or you can invest in an annual Rocky Mountain National Park Pass. Chautauqua Park in Boulder When you see a photo of Boulder, you are most likely seeing a picture of the flat irons at Chautauqua Park. The first and second flat irons loop is widely considered one of the best hiking trails in Boulder. The trail is rated moderate, with some areas being rather difficult, with gains of more than 1,400 feet in elevation. In other words, it's not for the faint of heart. However, the incredible views of the city of Boulder and the Front Range stretch on for miles and miles. If you want to hike other trails in the area, there are 10 trailheads accessible from Chautauqua Park, all with varying views of the iconic Flatirons and ranging in difficulty from easy to strenuous. But not all the trails permit dogs, and the trails that do allow dogs require them to be leashed. The trail's close proximity to town makes Chautauqua Park easy to access, but for the same reason, it's often very busy. To find parking in the lot, consider visiting during the off-season or on a weekday. Otherwise, parking is available in the nearby neighborhoods. Trollstegen Trail in Breckenridge 
Even though the Trostegan Trail in Breckenridge is less than a mile long, it's still considered a Colorado gem. Why? Because at the end of the trail is something that you would never expect. A 15 foot tall troll made out of recycled and upcycled wood scraps. This sculpture was custom made in 2018 and was named Isaac Hearthstone. He permanently lives in Breckenridge on his own custom trail called the Trostegan Trail. The path starts right at the parking lot and is about half a mile loop getting there and back to see the troll. The trail is flat and paved by elevated wooden planks or stone pavers making the hike very easy and accessible by any skill level, even small children and pets. It's hard to miss Isaac himself at the end of the trail. I mean, after all, he is a 15 foot tall troll. Once you are there, feel free to stop, pose, and take pictures with him. Plus, visiting the Breck Troll is easy and completely free all year long. And be sure to check out our video of hiking to see the Breckenridge Troll. Number 6. The Manitou Incline The incline at Manitou Springs is one of the most challenging hikes on this list. Located near Colorado Springs, this intense hike will test your physical abilities so you may want to train before you go on this hike. In fact, most people train for months before climbing this trail, so hike with caution. This incline has over 2,700 steps with a 2,000 foot elevation gain that is less than one mile straight up the mountain. The views from the top of the mountain are unmatched, and the hike down the mountain is equally picturesque. The main way to climb down the Manitou Incline is via the Bar Trail, which is a 12 and a half mile trail. It intersects from Pikes Peak to Manitou Springs and is a very difficult hike that takes about two and a half hours to descend. Hiking the Manitou Incline is extremely hard and should only be attempted if you are in very good shape. We do not recommend this hike for dogs or families with small children. If you start hiking the Incline Trail and feel that you cannot finish the hike to the summit, there is a quote bailout point where you can catch the bar trail and continue heading down to the bottom of the mountain. Number 5. Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park about five hours from Denver is one of the least visited national parks, called Black Canyon of the Gunnison. But for Colorado locals, it's considered a hidden gem that's less crowded and nonetheless stunning. Black Canyon of the Gunnison is typically visited by extreme athletes who enjoy rock climbing to sheer cliffs or pro kayakers taking on the Colorado River. However, even everyday hikers can enjoy the beauty of the area thanks to the Warner Point Natural Trail. This easy one and a half mile hike goes out and back for about a 45 minute hike it gains little elevation and meanders along the rim of the towering canyons below. The Warner Point Nature Trail offers panoramic views of both the inner canyons and surrounding mountain ranges. To enter the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, a National Park Pass is recommended for an annual fee, or you can purchase a day pass to access the area. And during the snowy winter months, there are seasonal closures, so be sure to check the National Park website for more info. Number 4. Red Rocks Park Red Rocks Park near Morrison, Colorado is known for the famous concert venue known as Red Rocks Amphitheater. Whether visiting in the daytime or at night, Red Rocks Amphitheater is a beautiful place to sightsee but also to hike. Watch the sun rise and see the stones aglow or stay up late and see the city of Denver sparkle to life. Red Rocks Park has 868 acres of sandstone, rolling hills, and meadows that feature stunning views and geological marvels. The park is situated at 6,450 feet and represents the intersection between the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains. With only a handful of hiking trails in the area, my favorite is the Red Rocks and Morrison Slide Trail. These trails form a three mile loop that features carved sandstones and towering rocks for which the park is named. This hike is moderately difficult and takes about one and a half hours to complete. Along the way, you'll see epic views of Denver on one side and the Rocky Mountains on the other. Be sure to bring your camera. Number three, Crystal Mill. Just outside the sparsely populated town of Marble, Colorado sits the historic Crystal Mill. Built in 1892, the mill operated as a powerhouse and contained a turbine that was driven by the nearby Crystal River. The hike to Crystal Mill is a moderately challenging eight to nine mile hike that can take three to four hours to reach your destination. Or if you have an off-road vehicle with four-wheel drive, you can drive right up to the mill's location. The Crystal Mill sits high atop the rushing river, surrounded by lush, rich forests, with the near-perfect backdrop of the surrounding mountains. It is a popular spot for hikers, tourists, and photographers looking to capture a little bit of nature's serenity. Number 2. Hanging Lake and Glenwood Canyon Hanging Lake Trail is arguably the most scenic hike in all of Colorado. 
This one and a half mile trail has an elevation gain of nearly 1200 feet and it requires a bit of climbing and traversing rocky terrain. On this hike, you'll cross a series of wooden bridges, then take a short trail extension to see spouting rock, a waterfall gushing through the rock face. As you continue on the hike, you'll see a short handrail section that will lead you to Hanging Lake. And it's hard to miss thanks to multiple waterfalls that trickle into the aquamarine pool, creating a breathtaking scene. To the south of Hanging Lake, you'll see gorgeous views of Glenwood Canyon, which is one of the most beautiful drives along I-70, and my personal favorite. Depending on the time of year, accessing Hanging Lake may be closed to the public due to damage from wildfires or mudslides. However, the state of Colorado is constantly in the process of preserving Hanging Lake and the Glenwood Canyon area, so it deserves the top two spot. Set alongside the Colorado River, the roadside pull-offs and rest stops in Glenwood Canyon are like nothing else you've seen. I can't recommend this hike enough. Number 1. Maroon Bells Within the Elk Mountains, the two peaks and crystal clear waters of Maroon Lake form a picturesque destination known as the Maroon Bells. Regarded as one of the most classic hiking spots in Colorado, the area can be reached via the Maroon Lake Scenic Loop Trail. This iconic nearly two mile long loop surrounds the Maroon Bells Lake, showing off scenic landscapes including alpine waters, wildflowers, and plenty of wildlife. If you've seen photos of Colorado, you've likely seen a picture of Maroon Bells. In fact, Maroon Bells is one of the most photographed locations in all of Colorado. Because of the popularity of this destination, access is limited during high traffic seasons like summer and fall, and reservations are required to visit the Maroon Bells. I recommend visiting this on weekdays, if possible, to reduce congestion. The Maroon Bells Wilderness area is located just about 10 miles outside of the beautiful and iconic Aspen, Colorado. This wraps up my top 11 best hikes in Colorado. And even though this video barely even makes a dent on all of places to hike, it's a great start. You could spend years exploring all of these awesome hikes and never get bored. As a Colorado local, I might be partial, but I think this is one of the best outdoor states in the country. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to show your support. And to get new videos from us every week, be sure to hit that subscribe button.